Welcome to Lambeau Field in Green Bay, Wisconsin. This is Charlie Jones and Todd Christensen. An absolutely gorgeous Sunday afternoon, the Pittsburgh Steelers and the Green Bay Packers. Second down and five, Hodge is in motion. And here is Barry Foster. And here is Hodge to the outside, has the first down. Dad's probably listening today, wondering the same way. Here's the pass to Stone, way to the 20 yard line. Just kind of hang around, float to the ball, and dive on the pile. <laughs> yeah, right. O'Donnell throws, it is incomplete. Close contact, no flag. It will be fourth down. Mark Royals with the hole. And it is good. Officially will be a return of 17 yards. And here is the quarterback for the Green Bay Packers, Brett Favre. He'll have Workman and McGee in the backfield. Sharp and Beach is the wide receiver. So Green Bay on offense for the first time in the ballgame. First NFL start for Brett Favre. Off you know. They open up with a reverse. Outstanding defensive play by Greg Lloyd. Play action fake to Workman. The pass over the middle is dropped for the tight end, Ed West. Five drops it off underneath the coverage and is dropped by Workman. So twice in the opening set, passes dropped by the Packer receivers. Second down. Little play action fake. Incomplete at the 35 yard line. Aren't you taught to catch with your hands? You're taught in, in certain situations, not in the middle of the field. This pass into the middle of the field. Incomplete to Dwight Stone and almost picked off on the rebound. Catch the punts, he takes the gloves off because he says he likes the feel of leather. What a punt. Oh my goodness. It'll be down at the four yard line. And it is first down. And here is Wilton. Big hole up the middle. He slips as he makes his cut. And here is Workman to the right side. He pops through. Same thing that he'd been doing for the Rams and the Chargers. Now he's doing it for the Packers. Play action fake. Buford McGee, 40-yard line. Wide receivers, one back on the set. On target, Sterling Sharp. Barb to throw, blitzes up. Is picked up. Good read for the quarterback. Completes the pass to the tight end, Jackie Harris. Sharp in motion. And the first back through is McGee. He needs only a yard. Let's see where they spot it. It'll be close. May not have made it. And he has Harry Sidney in the offensive set. Mike Holmgren was telling us that last week in a similar situation in the 20-yard line, in a crucial situation, Favre called completely the wrong formation, <laughs> and they were forced to kick a field goal. He didn't want to take any chances there. Sidney came out, Workman back in. And it is Workman, bad handoff. Bad exchange between Favre and Workman. Well, what they have there is the Polaroid shots from the sidelines to see where the linemen are and what the idea there is to get stance and where the people are set up. But Pittsburgh starting offense versus the starting defense of the Packers. There are no Pro Bowl players on the field. O'Donnell all the time in the world to Stone, and he is going to be short. First quarter comes to a close. Pittsburgh leads it three to nothing. I'd get up and leave. He was intimidated just like everybody else. Third down, Workman has the reception, leans, he may pick up the first down. He talks about hanging on the sidelines with the likes of the Godfather of Soul and MC Hammer. Five throws, nice touch to Sidney, and he has it, he's out at the 43. Look at him scramble around, he actually pushes Moran out of the way. Take a look at the feet here, are they down? 9.45, time remaining, first half, Packers trail, 3-0. Kendrick Taylor, 26-yard line. Winston with the tackle. How many times?
times did you watch it on tape? Remember what he said? 25 or 30. Fumble. Scramble for the ball. The Packers have it. Up to this point, defensively, it's probably their only issue is that they have not been able to sack the quarterback. From the backside, both outside backers, Lloyd and Williams, get in there. Good snap, good hold. If it carries, and it does. Sacagawea. <laughs> Barry Foster to the 40. Inside the 30, still on his feet, struggling to the 10. Terrell Buckley saves the touchdown at the 8-yard line. Second down, goal to go, eight-yard line. O'Donnell has pressure. Throws it, maybe intercepted at the five. No, it was trapped. O'Donnell got away with one. It was a terrible throw. He was trying to avoid the sack. He hesitates a little bit. Now, where is he throwing? He throws it to Hodge, but he sees Clark come off. Now, where's the ball? Is that? Oh, that's a catch. Here's it comes in, right here. That's definitely a catch. That's a catch. There, now, right here, you can see the, you can see the no, ball no. right there that he lost it. But did he have control? I'm not sure he had possession. That's watching it in slow motion. Field goal attempt is blocked. Anderson goes back to cover it. Benny Clark got the block. It looks as if he's okay. Green Bay for their own 24. Pump fake going deep. To the 10, touchdown Packers. This is the hook and go pattern. Two all pros, Rod Woodson versus Sharp. He bites on the hook, and that's it. It's all over. Favre puts it right on his hands. Darren Perry is an excellent free safety, but he's no match for the speed of Sterling Sharp. Three and a half minutes left to go, first half. O'Donnell throws, pass is complete, 41 yard line to Stone. The AFC West lead. That's yeah, going to be a great that's game. That's a good one. Second and 10. Pass is complete on the sideline. Yes, he had it inbounds. Third down and seven. Little play action. Big pass is complete. First down, it is Brent. O'Donnell deep over the middle. It sails on him. Stone cannot hold on. O'Donnell is set. May take the Steelers out of field goal range. Halftime at Lambeau Field. Are you surprised? The Green Bay Packers out in front of the Pittsburgh Steelers by a score of 10 to 3. And he is also an excellent receiver. Fire trips as he tried to slip out to the right side. He's going to lose three or four yards. It will be fourth down. Cougar now Washington Redskin Jason Buck. He's the one that set the two of them up. Foster is stopped cold at the 40. No gain. Nice big pass complete to McGee. Mom, you've made me what I am today, but don't let that ruin your birthday. <laughs> and today is Benita Fire's birthday. Here's a little play action fake by her son. Pass is complete to Buford McGee. Third down and four. Workman diving for it. He's going to come up short during uh, next week's Notre Dame Saturday show that's starting at 1 o'clock Eastern time. Remember last time on fourth and one, he bumped into Workman in the backfield. We'll see what happens this time. Clean handoff. Oh, this is going to be a close mark. This is going to be close. Oh. First down. Second and eight. Winters bothered by a bit of a hip problem. Fire steps away. Good move. And watch him. He slides at the tail. When I talked to his dad, he said, I keep costing he's got to slide. He wants to lower his head. 
Third down, 17. Pass is complete at the eight-yard line of Jackie Harris. It'll be fourth down, and the field goal team will come aboard. He is 30 of 30. And he pulls this one. It is no good. And the scoreless streak defensively for the Steelers in the second half continues. We'll be back. Terrell Buckley is in the secondary for the Packers, and the pass is and they go right to it. After three, Green Bay leads 10 to three. We'll be right back after these messages from your local station. It sailed on him, it's incomplete. Second time in the ball game. It's gonna have some room. 25 yard line, flag is down. He's to the 30, he's to the 35, to the 40. And then out of bounds. It wasn't, it wasn't much slower. Five. That's a lateral. I was just going to say, Charlie, lateral. you're absolutely right. And the officials pick him on the far side. That's a backward pass that goes out of bounds. And they've led since then. Third down and 14. They have converted only two of nine third down opportunities. Surprise at that call. Kicking to Woodson. Pressure. He get good kick. Great hang time. Woodson now makes the mistake. The Packers recover. It's a touchdown. Do they? They say they do. Yes. If he drops it, it can't be advanced. But here, this is, you know, it bounces up right here. This is a fumble. He creams him here. The ball goes backwards. It's recovered in the end zone. As far as I can tell, that's got to be a touchdown, doesn't it? He did not have possession. You have to have possession for it to be a fumble. Woodson did not have possession. Well, that would certainly be the argument right there. against Rod Woodson. This just has not been his day. Woodson is not going to be able to come back out. Mike Holm, good, good call here, going right for the kill. Very first play. What a throw by Favre to Brooks. Favre also showing that touch that they said he didn't have. Stone. Green Bay next week is at Atlanta. The Steelers have an open day. Here's Foster to the outside. Around the corner has a first down. Donald goes deep and is pulled down by Adrian Cooper, the tight end, first down. O'Donnell deep. And it is incomplete. Jeff Graham. Oh, there was contact. Jeff Graham certainly has a legitimate beef. The Steelers are gambling at fourth and ten. Well, Charlie and Bill Cowers mind it's not really a gamble. If they're to kick a field goal, that means they have to score two more times. This way he figures there's only, we only have two chances to do it. Pass is complete at the 11-yard line. Green Bay says no. They lost it when they came down. The officials are going to, are they going to rule if the ground caused the fumble? He certainly bobbled the ball, Charlie, but we were blocked out. It appeared to me that he might have gotten underneath it. As he jumps, he certainly bobbles it. Watch the ball. Does the ball come out there? Yeah. There it is. And here is Workman. And a flag is down back at the 15-yard line. He's going to spin far down. First of all, right there, the ball's completely hit. Hand it off. You got to know right there, you can't hit the court. First down. Once the ball is set up, the clock starts again. And here is Workman. 
to the 40-yard line. O'Donnell has missed his last five, so here's the screen to Hodge. Hodge has the first down and up the sideline. Third and five. Deep pass incomplete. Davenport 0 for 1 in fourth down opportunities today. This one is caught by Ernie Mills. Here's the screen, and this one is dropped by Foster. O'Donnell buys a lot of time. He goes deep to Stone. Incomplete at the three. Between two undefeated teams. Next Sunday's going to be great on NBC. And here is Workman. And he's working on the clock. That's the reality. And he sends all of his love. Stone has it, bounces away. Dwight Stone to the 40, to the 50. Needs to get past one man. He does, but he's then caught from behind by Roland Mitchell. A gain of 50 yards on the play. Hurry up off it from the 32. Far side pass is complete. Yeah, they haven't done anything, and then at the end they do something. Today they played a very solid football game. O'Donnell slips away. He's being chased. He's going to pick up some yards and stop the clock. Now we'll go to the second quarter. Interestingly enough, though, Charlie, they have a bye next week. Well, they get a rest before the second quarter. <laughs> it is almost caught, not caught. Pressure up the middle, knocked off of his feet. Hasselrig, what a run! Are down. Oh, what a run! Carlton Hasselrig at 6'1", 287 pounds of swivel hip football player. Face mass penalty on the defense, penalized into the run, five yards only. Ball back in the backfield was ruled a fumble, caught in the air, return, we bring up fourth down. Incomplete. Jeff Graham, Green Bay takes over. Charlie was interesting in the paper this week in one of the Green Bay papers they had regarding the fact they made the parallel of Brett Favre to Wally Pip and Lou Gehrig about the fact that now with Mikowski out, the big numbers that he had last week, and of course the numbers that he has generated this week, the great throws that he has had, maybe they do have their new leader, and maybe it wasn't coincidental that sometime this week they referred to him as Bart Favre. <laughs> That's a reach. And it is official. Green Bay 17, Pittsburgh 3.